Itian and guys, welcome back. Episode of Myth Busting. Today, topic of what is real, what is reality. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. So I think there's going to be two parts as of right now for this first part here. I want to share my experience. What is real? See, what is reality? You might feel you're touching your body and that is real. But actually, I am starting to realize that that is not real. And the scriptures talk about it, masters talk about it, but that's not reality. And uh, I'll share my experiences and how my cognition is moving towards that experience. Um, something real is eternal. Something that is not eternal cannot be considered real. That is one thing, which from that understanding, I can understand when they say this body is not real, it's not eternal, it's going to decay at some point. So putting your lifetime energy into this body is not the best strategy. That doesn't mean you cannot put a certain amount of lifetime energy into it, but you need to put it from the right context, not just for the context of body alone. If you want to radiate a healthy body so that your consciousness can radiate, then that is right context because you're putting your lifetime energy on consciousness. And for consciousness to operate and enrich, then having a healthy body makes sense. But if it's just for the sake of having a good looking body so that you feel comfortable and you feel that uh, you don't feel like intimidated or inferior or ugly or whatever in front of others, then that is not the right uh, thing to look forward to because it's not real. It's not real. So what is real is eternal. If something is not eternal, it's not real. I'll give you an experience from my experience regarding pain and how I realized that suffering and pain is not real. Um, I shared in one of the previous videos that I had this experience during the Kalabad of Ahoma where my body, the energy in my body was so high, I couldn't feel anything. Even if I used to hit my body, I couldn't feel the pressure of this hand on that skin. Like it was not there, even though it was experience, means I could see that my hand is not going through the body. Uh, this part of the body does not, <laughs> does not feel that something is touching it. And when we are numb also, it's a little bit of the same thing, right? So if in some situations I can have pain and in some situations I don't have pain, then pain cannot be real. It is a cause and effect, a karmic cause and effect of various things, but it's not real. So putting my emphasis on that, putting my attention on that is not the best strategy. If I want to spend my life and energy in an interesting way, if I want to invest in the future kind of say, then I should invest towards something that is real. So then I started to realize that what we consider as real is not real. Like it's not real. And when you start, when that started to happen in me, a lot of my cognition, I started to perceive and experience things in a totally different way. Even now I can say my body, uh, or I should say this body, <laughs> the body that I'm using is not, um, is not experiencing things like normal other bodies. Not anymore. Um, I don't know how it happened. I mean, I have an idea, everything combined, you know, whether it is the yoga and you're constantly contemplating and having completion happening in the inner space and, and having many spiritual experiences and ultimately Swamiji giving these glimpses of Paramashivam and that intense Kundalini awakening. So the experience that the body is, it's totally different than it was to, to, to be before. Before my body was much more uh, sensi sensible, sensi since uh, I don't know what is the word I'm looking for, it was, I, I could experience pain in a much more higher way than I can now. And that makes me to, that starts to make me believe that uh, pain is not real. Because if it was real, I would still be having it, which is not the case. So like that, that's what I wanted to share in this video with you guys. What is real, what is not real? Only something that is eternal. And we have to look into that. At some point, there's the stories of, uh, Paramahamsa Yogananda, when he got a Kundalini initiation from his guru, he could see through physical matter. So that then when you start to realize this is not real, you, start, you can start to manifest various kinds of powers like that. You can go through matter, and I'm pretty sure at some point that's going to happen. Uh, we're going to manifest it. We're going to go through matter literally because we just know that it's not real and the consciousness just, the power starts to manifest. 
and even seeing through matter, like he used to say, he could see through walls. Actually, Balasins already manifested this power in the past. And, and um, yeah, they were behind the walls. They used to show stuff and they could see it with the third eye reading. So, like, we have to transcend the cognition we have about what is real, what is not real. So that's the purpose of this video. I want you to think and start to look towards how you can transcend your experience of what is real, what is not real, and how Swamiji can help you because Swamiji is the only one that can help you to transcend that reality because for him it is real. He is fully established in that space. So he can guide us and make it happen successfully for us. So yes, guys, this is for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Nityanandam. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.